Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we are going to continue our experiment to see just how long a Penguin Cygnus aluminum block roller petrol lighter will hold its fuel before either evaporating it out or being used up. We are working on day six on the gold anodized scroll work engraved Cygnus that you see on the right. The silver tone ribbed model that you see on the left we just filled up yesterday. So first things first, yesterday this gold tone engraved lighter was still lighting up but the flame was waning pretty quickly so I am going to venture a guess that this lighter will not light today. Yeah, there it is though. So you might have to get your cigarette down there on that flame pretty quick if you were going to use this to light up but it did light up. So that's six days that that one is still lighting up. This one we just filled up with fuel yesterday, Monday. Today is Tuesday. And we pretty much determined that this one's not going to last more than about two days. But here we are roughly 24 hours after filling it up and lights right up no problem. Missed that one strike there but for whatever reason this silver tone lighter is not as reliable an igniter as some of the other Cygnuses that I have. We will check back in with you tomorrow. Alright, we are checking back in with an update on our experiment to see just how long a Cygnus petrol lighter will hold its fuel. And we have a little bit of a discussion that cropped up in the comments section of the first video in this series that was actually probably recorded a month ago. Today is Wednesday, March 27th, and this video will probably be in queue a full month and a half in the future from when I'm recording it. So we're going to have a gap here. It may seem like the conversation uh, gets drug on a little bit, but a good deal of today's video was inspired by a comment that was left this morning by Curtis Frew on the first video in this series and he brought up a possibility that I would like to discuss. Day two on the silver lighter. I mentioned that today is Wednesday. We filled it up on Monday and we've already pretty much determined that this lighter is only good for about two days worth of fuel. And it appears as though it's not even good for two days of fuel. <laughs> so you guys saw me fuel this one up roughly 48 hours ago and it is already empty. The gold tone engraved lighter was also, uh, I take that back, it was not fueled up Monday. It was fueled up last Wednesday. Yesterday was day six. So if it were to strike up, that would be a full week after this lighter was filled. And still striking up. That flame is going to wane pretty fast because there's just not much fuel or fuel vapor in the lighter. But here it is a full week later and this gold tone engraved Cygnus is still lighting up. Now to the subject that I would like to discuss. Curtis Frew brought up the 
possibility in his comment this morning on the first video in this series that the aluminum base metal that these Penguin Cygnus lighters are made out of is a porous metal and therefore cannot hold the fuel. I don't believe that's true. I've heard this idea before. Now, one thing that Curtis mentioned is that he has one of these Zippo fuel canisters. And these are official Zippo fuel canisters. If you've ever owned one, you know that that Zippo logo that is on it will wear off pretty quick. I have been carrying both of these in a utility bag with all my essential stuff in it for oh about six or seven years now. I don't remember the last time I fueled these up or filled them up, not really fueling up a fuel canister, but filled them up. I, I just can't recall. They've been in the pocket of that bag for months at least and it's possible that they've even been in there for a year. Curtis mentioned that these have seals on them. There's no need for a seal on the cap. That is basically just so that you can carry it. But every other joint on this fuel canister has a rubber seal. We talked about the fact that the Cygnus having a rubber seal for a gasket rather than the paper gasket that most of them have could contribute to its inability to hold its fuel. You'll see here on the cap though, on the underneath side, there is a thick rubber gasket. And you can also see that even though I don't recall the last time I filled these up, that there is plenty of fuel in that one as you can see it evident there on that seal. And now we open up the top of the canister. You'll see it is almost all the way full of fuel. You see that rubber gasket. So Curtis, in my experience, the Zippo fuel canisters are one of the better products out there. Zippo Fanatic 77 did a video on these a few years ago and he talked about how weak this metal ring is and that that needs to be replaced. And if you're going to let it hang off your bag, I would agree with that. I have, for the most part, kept mine in a pocket in my bag. But that ring is definitely cheap. You can bend it easily enough with your fingers can definitely get caught on something and cause you to lose your canister. But other than that metal ring, I believe that these are some of the more well-constructed and designed items that you can buy, especially from the Zippo manufacturing company nowadays. Pull this top off and show you that seal as well and you can see all that fuel that is still in there. So I've got both of these that I've been carrying around for I'm going to say no less than six months and they don't look like they have evaporated out at all. It's possible that they've been in there longer than six months but I don't believe that there's anything inherent in the aluminum that would allow fuel to evaporate or leak out. I say this all the time and it is absolutely true. I'm not a metals expert, but I do have some experience with some metals. So I know a little bit about porous metals. I used to work in a machine shop where we machined, welded, 
and ground to finish a lot of welds on steel gate valves and ball valves and also ductile iron ball valves. There's a big difference in the shavings that come off ductile iron and come off steel. So like I said I know a little bit about porous metals and perhaps technically I don't know uh, maybe technically speaking aluminum is a porous metal but it is not so porous that it's going to leak fuel out of it through its pores basically there is no way for that fuel to get out and as you can see because there wasn't any way for it to get out that fuel is all still there so Curtis if your Zippo fuel canister is only holding fuel for a couple of days I'd say there's something definitely wrong it's either got to be an o-ring that is flat broken or missing you mentioned the o-rings in the message though or in the comment under the other video gives you a little edge that you can use to loosen up your flint spring screws you can also keep a spare flint there in the tube really cool Zippo items that I believe are very useful and while our silver tone Cygnus lighter has given up the ghost as far as this fueling I don't think it'll light tomorrow but this gold tone is still lighting today until next time